everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I am going to go to Wickford to browse, not to buy. I've got a strict thrifting wish list, that video is coming up soon. So I'm only allowing myself to buy things that are, oh actually no, you would have seen, really seen that video. Um, I'm only allowing myself things to buy that's on my wish list for now. Um, hopefully carrying on like this um, but I want to browse on the charity shops so it's 10 to 10 now but it's in about booked for 12 so I can't be too long I'm gonna go thrift in Wickford I think um just haven't done the ones in ages um so yeah let's go I'm not gonna ramble on too long because I'm on a time crunch today so let's go time crunching charity shopping I think there's only four in Wickford so that's doable I also need to grab some food to eat for lunch so I can't just have Skittles and M&M's for lunch no matter how much I want to um but I'm going to Guardians of the Galaxy later so that's what I'm doing I'm wearing a Harley top my leather jacket my Harley jeans from Latham Street top from Beyond Metro jacket I believe St Luke's Hospice let's go okay I am here my time is set if you ever as someone that forgets to check the time when you park I always set a time for five minutes less than I've got just then it actually counts down so you can see how much time you've got. Um, it just might, in my brain, remind me of how much time I've got left. Um, and so if you're trying to work out how much time you've got while you're shopping. Wow, St Luke's have got a very patriotic window. That is a very bold suit. Can anyone guess when I am filming this? It's like a mixture of furniture and clothes, kind of everything to be honest. A little push chair. That's a really nice push chair actually. Um, Mum has given me a list of some things she wants main like, little characters um but obviously i'm now looking for nephew slash niece presents um so that is something i'm looking for as well that's kind of fun i like that six tables and six chairs not six tables so good loads of brick in this one in fact wickford's quite good for brick if that is what you're looking for. oh i love that little vase up there that was really sweet i don't need any more vases but i do love that one Really nice. Um, got lots of shoes and bags in here as well. Normally, lots of men's shoes. I'm looking for trainers. Um, but I've got very small feet, so that's probably more my size, if not smaller. I want black and I want a pair of black trainers and a pair of white trainers. So, yeah, satin mid dresses are on there, but not quite the sort I'm looking for. But it is really nice. Lots of mini bags. I've actually got quite a few mini bag presents in here before because then we have quite a good selection. I'm trying to not look at stuff that I'm not going to get. <laughs> I'm quite strict with myself. So, very randomly in the hunt for Marmite Walker's crisps because I'm making up a hamper for Hannah. I can say this because she would have already got it by the time this is uploaded. But the Marmite crisps are proving really hard to find. I thought they were quite common crisp. But I've, the only place I've seen them recently is in my canteen at work. I can't really buy loads of them in my canteen at work. I look a bit strange. So. That is something I need to look for. So I think if I go in news agents, I might have a bit of luck with them. Because apparently they are a bit of a rogue flavor. All right, so the next one we're going into is Bernardo's. This one sounds like a toy shop. Um, I don't know if it's started out like this or if they just happen to get loads of like, kids' donations, but it's one got loads of toys in it. So my mum has sent me a list of toys she wants to get for the kids. Just like some little figures, like little frozen ones and little, um, Paw Patrol ones. Oh, doesn't look like they're open. No. Where he explicitly says that it is closed, yet there's a pile of donations here, and it actually explicitly says on there, don't leave any donations, and people have left loads of donations. It's really infuriates me. But we're going to look at the combination window anyway. Very nice. Oh, I literally just saw someone put stuff there, and if I had, had read the sign, probably would have said something. This is so annoying. Don't leave donations. If a shop is closed, but don't leave donations outside unless it explicitly tells you to leave donations outside. Like, there's certain leaks by me that they they get pickups every day because they don't have a big enough stock room. They tell you to leave stuff outside, obviously when they're open. Don't do it if they don't tell you to do that. Anyway, time for Sea Rider. This is be quite a big Sea Rider, and actually, I'm gonna say Sea Rider a lot. Is the only Sea Rider I actually liked. Every other Sea Rider I've been in, not been good. If you got a good Sea Rider in here, let me know. Loads of shoes in this run, and um, so we're looking for shoes. 
place to come. Um, on my list is maxi dresses, so let's see if there's any nice ones. some presents for nephew slash niece um which is good um i also got a photo frame which i may keep myself i might give as a gift not quite sure yet I, it's really cute and i was thinking i want to get a photo frame for hannah and put like a picture of us all in there and it is really nice but i don't know about if it's going to go with hannah's like, decor in her room so i may change it quite cool but i'm not sure if it would work i don't know if i wear shoes that hurt enough to go for it but i'm not sure it is also a couple of years out of date, so maybe I'll leave this one. This is a Helena Robinson cat's chat tea. Again, I don't normally have too much luck with this, but maybe still be different. I like this colour coded little coronation bit they have going on. That's pretty. Is that a strapless number? That's very cute. It's not on my list of things, so I can't really get it, but it is really cute. It's a problem. I've got a list of stuff that I can't, can and can't buy, but now I want to buy this, because how good would this be for holiday? No tan lines. Oh. It's four pounds. I really don't want to break my no spending thing. This is a problem, but it would be real cute for holiday. Am I going to break my own rule? like quite quick i literally did this the first time i've been shopping since i've given myself these rules and i may be breaking them instantly do i need it no would it be practical yes oh, i'm putting it back because i'm meant to be good and i feel the judgment from the thrifty gods so i have put it back but i'm sad about it and i want the record to show that i'm not complaining i'm packing holiday i don't have enough tops that are strapless them you can all point me back to this video it's super duper cute but again not on my wish list it's six pound fifty stunning whoever picks it up is very lucky um i have got maxi dresses on my wish list um but i don't think any of these are actually maxi that's really cute and actually very similar to things that are on my pinterest board but i do think i want a skirt and then a maxi dress that's really nice but not 100% sold. I'm done, I feel very, like I was very restrained. I'm now deciding what I'm gonna have for lunch. I have to walk past Subway and the Subway smells great. Maybe I'll get a Subway. So I'll walk to the Lidl, which is there, or the Aldi. Oh no, that's closed actually. Oh, it made my decision for me. Let's get Subway. Mm -hmm. So, Subway was delicious. Don't you love it? There's like an interesting people in the restaurant you're eating in. You should eavesdrop their conversations. There's this girl, I think was with her aunt, like talking about acrylics. She literally must have been about seven, eight. Mental, absolutely mental. These kids nowadays. Anyway, I didn't get that much. So I will show you what I got. Um, I've got about 10 minutes left of my parking, so I can show you while I sit in the car. It's a haul today. Cause there isn't anything to try on. I was good. I can't believe my restraint, to be honest with you. There was a couple of things that I liked. Um, although, I wasn't actually really looking at the clothes. It actually does go to show as well how much quicker you can do the charity shops if you're not shopping for clothes. Um, oh, I need that bag in with me. Wow, attractive. Um, I will show you what I picked up. Okay, sorry, you're on a bit of a slant. That is my jacket, get that out. I don't know when else get really hot in the charity shop, but I am a sweaty mess within like 10 minutes of charity shopping. And plus the subway was boiling. So I actually only got three things. Um, first one being this little photo frame. I don't know if I'm going to give this to Hannah or if I'm going to keep this to myself. Um, so Hannah, I'm sorry if you're watching this and I didn't give it to you because I'm just talking about it. But I thought this is... Seemed to be cute. Would go with my room very well, um, but I don't actually really have much room. Um, so I might put a photo of me and the girls in it and give it to Hannah. That was 125 from Sea Rider. Isn't it funny as well? I was like, I never find anything in Sea Rider, and then actually came out with three things. Um, that Sea Rider, though, is the only 
Sue Rider that I've been in that I actually really like. I don't know what it is. You know how certain shops just have layouts you do or don't get on with? Like, when I was shopping Fast Fashion, I never got on with Zara. Like, just couldn't get on with the shop. And everyone loved Zara, and I loved all the clothes that people wore, but I just couldn't get on with it. And there were certain, like, H&Ms I could never kind of get my way around. Like, it's funny, isn't it? You get, like, accustomed to different shops. And the way Sue Rider is just laid out obviously just isn't compatible with me. Whereas in some shops, I love the way they're laid out, but I know they, other people hate it. It's a bit funny. Next two things, Emma, please turn off because this is for my future niece or nephew. The first one is Fox Socks, a lift and flap book. So this is a series um, written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Axel Scheffler. Um, I actually found one of the other books from this series in a St Luke's Hospice in Billericay and picked this up. So this was one pound. Um, I've already got Hide and Seek Pig and this is Fox Socks, but it's, um, I checked all the flaps there because it's like a flappy book. Just thought that was cute. It has got a little bit of um, kind of wrinkling on the cover, but nothing crazy and all the flaps are still intact. And the next thing I love and i'm gonna read this when i get home because i'm intrigued um so emma's boyfriend keelan really likes marvel and um, it's kind of what we bond over is marvel um and this is a grow up ant-man marvel kids book so the back it says ant-man is a very mischievous superhero so it's up to cassie to tell her dad to grow up watch as ant-man shows you just how big he can grow but what happens when ant-man grows too big using playful repetition this story will have parents and children alike saying grow up ant-man oh i think this is so cute i'm so excited to read this this is a pound again from sue rider and this one was also from sue rider i don't know if i said but this is so cute and i can't wait to read this to my future nibbling um because i think this is great and i just it looks really cute it looks like they've got lots of different characters see captain america ant-man um all the guardians which is funny because we're going to see guardians and they're all like really playfully illustrated let me show you and like all the guardians it's so cute i've never seen like a kids marvel book but like actually for like younger children before so very excited to give her that but that is the end of today's video probably will be a relatively short one i think but who knows if my videos are quite often babble on for so long that it's not i want to go now and go and see guardians of the galaxy although i am now really early so i might just sit in my car for a bit when i get there well it's really hot so i might actually go sit in the cinema and edit this video because i quite like sitting in the cinema and people watching um but that's it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up let me know if you've shopped in wickford charity shops before i find that they're never all open like there's always at least one or two closed today was bernardo's normally it's st luke's or helena robinson but they're never all open at the same time which is really annoying however i did get some good bits today and i'm really restrained i know i've just I tried to end this video i'm gonna carry on babbling on but setting this wish list i think it's gonna take me a while to stop breaking it like this i'm not counting like brick and books and like gifts and stuff because obviously I'm gonna get that anyway but clothes wise i would have definitely brought that top do i think i may regret it potentially but i didn't need it and i think this is what i'm trying to break is that not that i need anything on my wish list but they are things i want and i have wanted for a while rather than these impulse purchases which is what i'm making so feeling like i've i was this day was the first day i was testing if i was gonna be able to do this and i did so i'm proud of myself but anyway alas i am gonna end this video now so subscribe if you're not already to see if i carry on with this sticking to my wish list and i'll see you in my next one bye